So this share note is on uh, protein and energy metabolism. We will talk about the metabolism later on in the course, but I just want to point out something. I look at this as a fate of a protein. What happens with that, right? So the fate. So through digestion, right? Let's say we absorb, right? Absorbed. So that uh, amino acids, they were absorbed. So the dietary protein, those poly polypeptides, those polypeptides they were digested, and now your body absorbed them. So there are a few fades, few ways that the amino acid can go. So let's look at that. So amino acids are uh, protein synthesis, which is the normal pathway. So your body takes those different types of amino acids, could be 20 of those amino acids, and your body synthesizes varieties of products. In this case, they just show muscle, so because the amino acids and proteins are structural molecules. We need them for growth and structure. So, but what happens, you see there is a proteolysis, the opposite direction. What happens if you are, in, let's say, in starvation mode? So, during starvation, your body is able to break down muscle tissue, right? It will break down muscle tissue through proteolysis, protein lysis, lysing. And through the process of gluconeogenesis, gluco, glucose, neo, new and genesis generation, your body will convert glucogenic amino acids into glucose. And this glucose would be used as energy. Amino acids could be used as energy directly as well without without being converted. So I'm going to skip on, on, on a few steps. It's too early in the course. We will talk about this particular process later on. So, and also amino acids, if we are consuming them too much in the diet, in the shakes, in the supplements, and your body will just basically turn them into fat and will store those amino acids as fat. So there's no way that you can break down fat and convert fat back back into amino acids. No, it's not gonna work that way. Even the sugar that will be stored as fat, you cannot convert fat back into sugar. You cannot convert fat back into anything. Fat would be converted back into free fatty acids. So when you store fat as triglycerides, you will convert them back into free fatty acids. But we will talk about this later in course. So that's the share note on this particular fate of amino acids or the proteins.